What is up, Earth Spheres, citizens, and rebel colonists? I am just a simple new type, and in this episode, we are diving back into the world of Mobile Suit Gundam Wing. Last time, Trace gave Hiro Epion. Zex and the Peace Million tried to get Wu Fei to help with his cause, but the two ended up fighting. This time, Relina joins the Romafella Foundation and becomes their queen, while White Fang continues the fight out in space. So let's get into this. Duo is talking to a few other men about what they should do about Romafeller. He goes off on his own to meet up with Hildy. He wasn't able to get any information. The Sen Kingdom is on the verge of falling apart. Noin wants to take military action, but Relina says they must handle this through peace and wants to talk to Dirk Dumel herself. Ugh, exhausting. Noin tells this to Hiro, but he thinks that she is too idealistic. That being said, Hiro recognizes that this is what the people need right now. The Maguanac Corps is fighting against Oz when they notice Katra. Katra gets back into Sandrock and his comrades push back on the Oz forces. Duo and Hildy head to the circus where Duo notices that the clown is Troa. He asks Troa a question about Hiro, but he doesn't remember anything. Catherine tells him to leave him alone and not make him fight anymore. Yeah, get out of here while this circus gypsy gaslights Tro into pretending to be his girlfriend. Back at the Saint Kingdom, Relina informs Noin that Romafeller plans on attacking their nation for harboring deserters. She takes action against Relina's wishes. Hito heads out as well as Epion. He yells at the Epion system to stop messing with his head. Stop it! Don't go doing that! Noin and her team begins attacking, but Oz unleashes the Virgo mobile dolls. It is too much for them. They retreat to the defense line. That is when the Maguanac Corps and Catra come in, helping the Saint Kingdom. Dorothy is ominous and asks Rolina how she plans on accomplishing her mission of peace if they don't stand up and fight for pacifism. She says that total pacifism isn't possible. You have to fight for peace. Dorothy says that all she has is a dream. Noin is the last line of defense and they are pushing towards the city. Buildings begin going up in flames. Dorothy connects Relina to the Foundation Networks. She makes a speech to everyone saying that she will give herself up as a prisoner in the name of peace. Zex heads to the Saint Kingdom after hearing Relina's open communication. Hiro doesn't stand down and continues his attack on Oz. It seems the Epion system has once again taken control. This commander gets a good solid 30 seconds of screen time before Hiro comes in and kills him and his fleet. I don't know why, but I found this odd. This random guy got so much screen time knowing that Hiro was going to come in and kill him. Hiro notices Wing Zero. Fully consumed by the Epion system, he fights Zex. He realizes that it is too late and the Saint Kingdom is already destroyed. Isn't it all pointless? That's like this whole anime, Zex. I'm used to it at this point and just kind of go with it. Zex is also consumed by the Zero system. The two pilots have both lost control. Duke Dermel tries to convince Raylina to be the representative of peace for the Romafella Foundation as the people have seemed to rally around her cause. Jim Burns, the English voice actor, is really hamming it up in this scene. Are you telling me that you find a prison more suitable? That's the guy who played Inferno in Beast Wars. Inferno. Relina believes that she would just be trampling over the masses suffering from oppression. Jermel tells her to think it over and that the longer she takes, the more people will end up dying. Both the Epion system and Zero system are being overwhelmed by one another and the two pilots both fall as dramatically as possible. Tuberoff is informed that production is up. He leaves the barge and heads to the lunar base. In his shuttle, he notices manned Leos. Something isn't right. Some of the Oz soldiers begin taking over the lunar base. These revolutionaries were former members of the Trace faction along with others who now go by the name White Fang. They are led by a man named Kantz. They take Tuberoff hostage, but he is able to run away. Soldiers get a shot on him. Tuberoff is able to activate the mobile dolls who begin attacking White Fang. That is when Wu Fei and Altron Gundam come in and attacks the mobile dolls. As Wu Fei tears through the place, Tuberoff goes mad before exploding by the hands of Altron Gundam. White Fang has successfully taken over the base and with it, they also took the Libra. More on the ship soon. Back at the Saint Kingdom, Zex and Hito stare into each other's eyes. Hito says, I'm taking Wing Zero back, bye! He leaves Epion with Zex and tells him it was made by Trace. The two get into their new mobile suits and push their way through the Oz forces. Relina reluctantly decides to become the chief representative of the Romafella Foundation. Even though Tuberoff has been defeated, Oz still fights against the remaining forces who resist the Romafella Foundation in space. People like White Fang. As some defend themselves from attacking mobile dolls, Wu Fei comes in to help. Noin goes to meet with Wu Fei. Last time they met, Wu Fei made fun of her for being a woman. A woman? Now it makes sense. She asks for him and the Gundam pilots to help bring peace in space and on Earth. She wonders why she is still fighting for the Saint Kingdom, which was just destroyed. She says that the ideas of peace live in all of the people of the Saint Kingdom. But you know Wu Fei, 
Sounds like something a woman would say. He says that he is going on his own path and not taking any orders. Meanwhile, Duo looks for a job. Yep, that's what you wanted, right? He stumbles onto a job listing posted by an asteroid operated by the Winner family. He realizes that that must mean Catra is back because of a job posting? Such a weird moment. Duo goes to meet with him. He wonders where he was the whole time. Catra tells him about what happened on Earth, but Duo is over fighting. He tells him about Troa and goes to visit, but he doesn't remember who he is. Tro is a lot happier now being here at the circus with us. No one is happier at the circus. No one. As the circus performance begins, White Fang and Oz begin fighting in the colony. The English voice actor for Catherine forgets what character she is playing for a few lines as she thinks she is in Gone with the Wind. There, there. It's all right. I'm here by your side. <sighs> Gone with the wing. Troa doesn't know anything, but he knows that he can protect Catherine if he fights. He decides to help Catra. Sandrock comes in to attack Oz. No, it's the Gundam! Catra does the scimitar shuffle on a few mobile suits. As Troa leaves to help, he gives Catherine such a powerful glare. That rhythm of motion begins a playing. I wish I could do that in real life. He promises her he will come back alive. On Earth, the newly appointed Queen Relina gives a speech to the people. She asks for everyone to put down their arms and declares that their nation is one nation, the World Nation. This is the beginning of the Earth Sphere Unified Nation, or ESUN. Trace watches on. Duke Dermel thinks that he has a reign on Relina, but he seriously underestimates her. This will be a bigger risk for the Rummafeller than they realize. Zex drinks coffee in a diner when Kant and White Fang come in looking for him. They want him to come back to space with his Gundam. The Rummafella Foundation wants Dermel to step down from his position, and they won't force him like they forced Trace. The Duke tells him that he will certainly step down, but now is not the time. Others believe that Dermel brought Relina in as queen to protect his position, but in doing so, it takes power out of his hands, and the other Foundation members see this as well. Relina's position as queen is all for show, but they want to make it a reality now. Troa and Catra meet up with Noin. She tells them that Wu Fei won't join them. Hildi notices the colony being taken over by rebels. She returns to find some people harassing Duo. They want to use the Gundam as a symbol for their cause, but he ain't having it. Duo feels uneasy around White Fang, but at least if he teams up with them, he could fight for the colonies. But of course, these sad boys have to go their own way. White Fang is working to get the Libra up and running. They want to use it to monitor the colonies from attacks. As Noin and the gang make it to White Fang territory, Oz begins attacking. Troa, the guy with memory issues, heads out first and attacks them. Catra launches soon after, but Sandrock isn't optimized for space. Troa, again, the guy with memory issues, is able to take out Oz mobile suits no problem. Just try harder. Have you just tried a little harder? You ever think about that? We just need to hit them really, really hard. Noin bails and blows the ship. Catra goes in to save them, but that is when Death Scythe comes in to save the day. Cue rhythm of motion. Meanwhile, Relina reminds Hito that he needs to kill her and her fake notion of peace. Now you are speaking my language, Hito. Mike Howard wonders where Zex is as he hasn't returned from Earth yet. They continue his mission to find the Gundam pilot using the Peace Million. On Earth, Hito begins fighting against Oz with the gorillas. It's a Gundam! Meanwhile, Relina is piecing it up with all her peace and influencing the other Romafella Foundation members to go against Dermel. He can't get rid of her now, as he would be the first person people would point fingers at. Dorothy suggests that he go into space and prepare for the next battle instead of trying to fight a losing battle. Also, did she just flick her eyebrows? He heads to space and commands the Space Fleet on their attack on White Fang. Ultron Gundam begins making its way for the Libra. Wu Fei is on a mission to do his own thing. White Fang starts up the Libra even though it is not finished. The Libra is a giant space battleship designed by the Gundam scientists. It has a giant beam cannon that is one of the most powerful cannons seen in this universe. However, one of the scientists built a flaw in the system that would require repairs after each fire. Because of this, it isn't used often. Later, we will see that this ship also has a mobile doll control room and will eventually integrate the Epion system into the control room. Hiro sneaks into the Romafella Foundation and finds Relina pouring peace all over these old men. Hiro is ready to kill her. White Fang is finally able to neutralize Ultron Gundam, but it is not destroyed. Zex tells White Fang that the Gundams are fighting for the people of Earth now. She calls for the people to lay down their arms and start anew as a peaceful nation. Before Hiro shoots her, the Romafella Foundation clap and agreeance with her. They agree to try for peace. Hiro lets her live for now. 
White Fang leader Kant makes a declaration of war on the Romafella Foundation, claiming the Gundam is attacking the colonies. Hida watches on and realizes Wu Fei is being used. Relina and the Romafella Foundation think they are being tricked. Duke Dermel's space forces get overrun by White Fang mobile suits. They destroy his ship, killing the Duke. Dorothy gives her best attempt at acting. I won't cry, dear grandfather. Kance tells the world that they have a new leader. It is Zex, now going by Miliardo Peacecraft. As Rolina makes strives towards peace on Earth, he wonders, why make this turn now? Hitter does his best Spike Spiegel impression. And that will do it for this episode. As peace seems like a possibility, Zex comes out of nowhere and yells, Wild card! Wild card, bitches! Yeah! The Earth's fear is truly at an all-out war. What will happen as we sprint through these final 10 episodes? Next time, Trace will make his return, but Lady Un is still unconscious. The five Gundam pilots finally reunite again, and the Libra points its giant cannon towards Earth. But that will do it for now, Rebel Colonists. Remember, if you say the word peace enough times, it might actually come true. Peace. See what I did there?